coming out is like breaking a rule. It opens up the door to taking more chances and being authentic without worrying about how to keep in line with tradition. Never in my dreams did I ever imagine that I would end up in the Out 100. <laughs> The fact that I made it here, and then to have you, my wife, by my side, supporting me and going to this important event with me, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. When I was younger, my view of being gay was fairly negative, given that my family is really conservative. It's unfortunate, but I viewed it as something being the most negative part of who I am, I wish that it wasn't who I was. I remember when that Wall Street Journal piece came out and it was a pretty big deal. Here was your official printed outing. I remember thinking at that time, wow, this is coming out in a big way. <laughs> it was time. Just let it all come out and be honest about who we were and just being real. It makes me so proud to be a part of it with you. And now that it's come out, it's actually a far more amazing experience because that overall feeling just translates into everything. Coming out is not something that I have to consciously worry about all the time. It just frees up so much more space to be concentrated and focused on the work that we're doing even more. Even with the cuisine that we're doing, it influences the thinking that it's not just about our personal lives, it also will translate into our work life, being free. The awesome thing about kaiseki is, even though it's, it's a formal dinner that's rooted in Japanese tradition, you know, using seasonal ingredients and highlighting different cooking methods, is that Maybe in Japan, we would have been tied to the traditional aspects of it. Mm -hmm. But luckily, since we're not in Japan, from another perspective, we're able to reinterpret it. It's all about respecting nature, learning how to present it in the best possible light. So you can't run away from who you really are. And no matter where you go, I'm still me, you're still you, and we're still who we are. And I realized and learned at that time that I'll just always be me.